Okay, this time I'd like to review a Chinese sword. This is a reproduction made by Huanwo Forge, and I'm sure I butchered the pronunciation of that name. It's a company that was founded in 1996 in Shanghai. Uh, learned traditional swordsmithing from a Japanese smith. And uh, they originally made only Japanese swords, and now they also make Chinese and European swords. I don't know exactly which type of steel this blade is made of. Generally, for their Japanese swords, they use 1060 or 1095. So it's probably either one of those. But uh, regardless of which one it is, they are both good steels for swords to use. And this particular Dao here is a willow leaf type. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the Chinese name because I would fail anyway, so why even bother? This is a very well-made reproduction. I'm quite impressed with it. So uh, it runs for about $400, uh, depending on the exact source. And as usual, I'm going to post links down below. As you can see, the grip has an intricate wrapping. I don't know exactly what material this is. Could be silk, but I'm not sure. And it's got bronze fittings on the hilt. The guard is bronze as well. Looks beautiful, absolutely fantastic in person. Really nice. Uh, the group comes in different colors. This one here is the green, as you can see, but there's also a brown, I think a black version as well. The scabbard also has these ornamented brass fittings. The blade is polished to a mirror sheen. And probably see, yeah, there's my face reflecting in it. And it has a fuller, full flat grind. The edge geometry is pretty similar to a katana. Very well made. The thickness is five and a half millimeters. This is not an actual false edge here. It's not sharpened. Now, I wish they would have done that. I personally very much appreciate having a sharpened short edge so you can cut with that as well. It's very sharp. It still is. I gave this as a gift to my significant other about two years ago and uh, we've used it quite a bit for test cutting and such and uh, it's still very sharp. So it is held up beautifully. And I really wish you know, more manufacturers of European swords took this as an example and uh, made the swords sharper because most types of swords are supposed to be about this sharp. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's European or, or you know Chinese or Japanese or whatever, you need a sharp sword. And people sharpened their swords properly back in the day. So modern manufacturers should do the same. And this is great. There's really just one issue that I found with the blade, and that is that it uh, stains a lot more easily than other swords I have, for, for whatever reason. In fact, recently I brought it to a cutting seminar, and uh, we used that alongside other swords, but not as much. I actually brought this out towards the end of the seminar, so it wasn't used as much as the other others, but uh, afterwards this was just covered in, in light surface rust, you know, all kinds of oxidation. And uh, the others, not so much. So I'm not entirely sure why that I spent is. spent quite a bit of time polishing it, trying to remove that. I did remove most of the stains, but you can still see a little bit left. It's not really a big deal to us. We don't need 100% you know, pristine blades. Uh, if they look used, then that gives them extra character. But if you're the kind of person who likes to have them like 100% flawless, then you really need to make sure to dry it off immediately and uh, apply oil as soon as possible after using it, if you even intend to use it in the first place. If you don't, then it's not a concern, of course, but that's really the only negative thing about the blade. Uh, as far as the rest of the saber is concerned, I ha have one particular issue with uh, the hilt, which Again, it's not really a big deal, but when it arrived, the, uh, the thread of the tang was actually protruding past the nut here a little bit. And I did not like how that looked at all. So I cut that off with a Dremel and uh, you know polished it so that it's now flush. It didn't come like that. The other thing is you'll notice here that there is a bit of a gap. The way the threaded tang sticks out past the end cap here is at a bit of an angle. So uh, 
if you tighten it as much as you can, there is still a gap here. So I don't know if it's just this particular one, if others are flush and are, you know, at more of a straight angle. I don't know, since the entire grip is curved, that's, that might be just a general thing. And uh, by the way, this construction here with the threaded knot that is historical, they did that in order to better be able to disassemble it and clean it. In wetter climate, you may have moisture gathering under the grip, so that really needs to be cleaned out and dried and, and re-oiled then. So it's overall a good thing to have that. I'm not much of a fan of the threaded construction in general, but this here is pretty good. Like it's, it's a strong thread, it's uh, thick enough, and no problem. The guard hasn't loosened up in the direction of the blade. The hilt is still perfectly solid. The only thing is the guard here, you can actually move it a little bit side to side. And this is because the opening in the guard where the blade slides through when it's assembled is too large. So there is simply too much wiggle room. And uh, I would definitely like to see this improved. Um, yes, it does not really have a significant impact on the performance. In fact, it doesn't have any really. It's, but it, it's a little bothersome and it's, it would be nice to see a tighter fit. As far as the handling is concerned, all I can say is excellent. It's a very light sword, somewhat tip heavy compared to other swords, but that's also the idea behind it. It's weighted a little more forward so you get extra cutting power and the way that the Tao is used in Chinese martial arts, and keep in mind, I haven't been trained in them, I just have a very rough understanding of the basics. Apparently they like to use the, the off hand to support the main hand, and uh, the cuts are mostly hip powered with a lot of rotation, and uh, that makes perfect sense. It's the same as in many other armed martial arts, and uh, that definitely assists in using a sword like this. Uh, they also have these tight, wraps around the body to come down for a shoulder powered cut and uh, yeah that seems to work very well with this and uh, yeah it's just a pleasure to handle. So overall my complaints are not all that serious really. The fact that it stains easily, well you can avoid that if you just dry it off immediately and, and oil it. The um, fact that the, the tolerance is not tight enough for the guard, yeah again doesn't affect how it works doesn't affect the durability, but it's a little annoying. And uh, when the thread sticks out at the end, again, that does not have to be an issue for you. It's just something that I personally don't like to see. However, for the price range, I can pretty easily forgive these things. And overall, this is a fantastic sword. I very much like it. Um, sure, I'm not a much of a fan of a discard, but hey, this is just how they are and it's still a very nice saber and it cuts beautifully, uh, performs really well, definitely sturdy, uh, well put together. And then you also have to take into consideration that there aren't many uh, high quality reproductions of Chinese swords, unfortunately. There's a lot of junk on the market. Um, there are only a few that are really worth getting if you intend to use it for cutting tests and such. If you just plan to practice forms, then yeah, there's plenty of offerings. But something like this, a faithful reproduction, well, I say faithful reproduction, I can't really judge that because I've, I've never handled an original Dao, but uh, it seems like a very well-made reproduction. So uh, for that alone, this is definitely worth considering. And I'm very happy that we have this in our collection. So I would definitely highly recommend it if you are interested in Chinese swords. So uh, hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. And you cut through all the dolls inside. <laughs>